ever said. I don't know why, but think about it, but it came to me that day, you know, where I was in of college and I didn't have any money. And my wife said, she said, you know, I'd like to bake a cake today. Boy, said, I'd be glad about that. Go to her and hit it in the oven. She said, but there's uh, something missing. I said, what is it? She said, we don't have any eggs. I said, eggs? I don't have a m not money to buy an egg. But it came to me right away, an old white rock when hen had been eating over our house for about two weeks around the flower bed. Just puck, pucking around and picking and eating, and eating, eating all day and went home to roost. Day after day after day. Well, I knew she had eaten enough to make an egg. <laughs> days and days and days she must enjoy it over our place so I said Jesus I said now that white rock hen I don't know who she belongs to but she's been over here for a while and I'm going to I said honey I'm going to open up the wood house door uh, that door hasn't been open in years uh, and father I ask you to, uh, to put it in that hen's heart when she comes by there to go in there and lay us an egg. And she kind of looked at me. <laughs> so I went out and uh, I opened the woodhouse door and popped it back so it wouldn't go too. Want to be sure and get the door open so you can get what you need. Get it popped back, lots of prayer and obedience, faith, and trust, hope. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a really a miracle uh, because, you see, uh, I, uh, I was aware that every hen uh, has a laying place. She always lays in the same nest. You would have 20 nests along there, and she always lays in number three. She doesn't lay two or four or six. It's always three for her. She, she starts with one Net and she sticks to it as long as she lives. And uh, I, I hadn't thought about the fact that I uh, had that, that God would need to break her laying habit, bring her from her nest that she'd been at all this time to a wood house whose door had been open and there wasn't any straw in there. All it was was just real fine soil. Think about God is faithful in little things. And little things really is. So I said, I want to believe. So I went out, opened the door, and I got in there and just, oh, I just said, Lord, you're able to bring that hand over here and uh, bring her and put, and put it in her heart, not to go toward the water out there or the garden, but put it in her heart to go north past that door where she had never had been before and so in about five or ten minutes I can't tell you exactly I saw her coming across highway 227 she was, I said oh honey here comes our hand she's coming and she's, she's uh, picking along the flower beds over here Charlie White's boundary line and ours the parsonage and I watched her and she just, you know how they work, you know, they just scratch and they pick at this and pick at that. And I watched her go, she got all the way across the front of the house to the south side. And then she had to make a turn right, which is west. Because she went straight on, she'd go out to that little brook in our garden. I didn't want her to go that way. I wanted her to believe that she'd go to the west. So she went west all the way. Then I had to still believe she wouldn't make a left turn. And she'd have to go right again. And I had to believe that. And then I had to believe that there would be such an attraction. And she looked at that door. And she'd go in. Then I had to believe that when she got in there, she'd say, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll help out here. She had to break her laying habit. 